where the church has to move to because if we're going to be effective on any level, if we're going to reach those people who actually need Jesus, we're not going to be able to explain to everybody everything that's happening and why we did what we did and all. The, this is the reason why, and I'm just telling you pastorally as a church, this is the reason why we're doing ransom again. Now listen, hold on before you change. Now listen, hold on, before you cheer, before you cheer, before you cheer, before you cheer. We learned some things last year. We learned our platform was way bigger than I thought. We learned that there were a lot of people who were looking for things to be able. And I was like, oh, shoot. If this was at the PAC or the Performing Arts Center, they would love it. Because it was on the wrong day, at the wrong venue, and it was kind of good. <laughs> Now let's be real, they want me to come out here and whip somebody and like spray some ketchup and it'd be like, Psh, Jesus is blood. <laughs> come on, let's be honest. And they will clown the church about it. And we're like, they didn't come to Christ because of that? No, it wasn't excellent at all. We saw the Heinz in the guys. <laughs> so, cause there was, it was like, ah, oh, that's too much. And y'all done rewrote Beyonce's song. And I, I mean, I know the song and that wakes my spirits up. And I just, I get you. So do we stop doing it? Oh, no. Because there was over 600 people got saved. But, what, but watch this, but watch. But we're not prideful to say, yeah, we're just going to do it the same. No, we've been cutting on it. We've been submitting it. We've been looking at it. We done rewrote almost all the songs. We've, we've, we've taken the things that we said, could we do this better? And what we're going to do is this year, we're going to perfect it in-house. This is why it's not going to be live online for everybody to see. And I know all my Transformation Nation people like, forget them, Pastor Mike. Forget them. I'm in Georgia. I can't come. Play ransom for me. I got you. <laughs> I love Transformation Nation. Y'all are ride or die. But hear me. But, but hear what I'm saying is, I have enough wisdom to know that if we, if we get it right this year, then maybe we can take it on the road. We need to come up with an Easter play. And they was like, all right, let's do it. I said, but it can't be no whack, raggedy. It's just, he got up. Like, it just cannot be that. Okay, y'all gonna act like I'm the only one that saw like, oh, yay, that was good. Like, I was like, it's gotta move people. And I really want it to be focused on people who don't know God or are far from him. Cause like, usually Easter is like where we come to cheer with the people who already are on the team. That's called practice. Uh oh, let, yeah, let me stop. I want to go after the people who haven't signed up to play the game yet. I want the person who feels lonely and isolated and like God doesn't care. I want them to see how amazing Jesus actually is and what God actually did for all of us. So I said, we're going to go to the edge on this. And they said, Pastor, how far on the edge are we going to go? I said, we're going to do everything short of sin. Oh, y'all, I felt the religious people. Their booties got tight right there. Stop. 